In this video, I'm going to take you through Ramp DeFi, the optimized lending platform that gives users some of the highest deposit yields and lowest borrowing fees on assets within the Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. For more information on Ramp DeFi, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Ramp is a multi chain DeFi lending platform that offers a way to maximize value and returns on your assets. As you're most probably aware, many protocols allow you to earn yield on your crypto. However, usually you can't borrow a stablecoin and use it to invest in other ways or vice versa. With Ramp, you can earn yields by staking or farming on your capital. You can collateralize your capital and borrow the RUSD stablecoin. Then use the stablecoin to invest in somewhere else at the same time. And in this way, users can continue to enjoy high ROI on your assets, retain capital appreciation while extracting liquidity at the same time. So how does it all work? Well, essentially, you borrow RUSD, a stablecoin, by collateralizing your asset deposits. Whilst your collateral assets continue to generate a high yield for you, the borrowed RUSD can be used for staking or transfer between different networks, meaning you can borrow with your Binance Smart Chain assets and send RUSD to Polygon to buy new tokens on QuickSwap, or vice versa to buy tokens on PancakeSwap. This puts users in a unique position, where their assets continue to produce high yields for them, and at the same time they get to unlock liquidity. And the protocol offers a host of different features to its users, including a cross-chain liquidity bridge, staking rewards, and yield farming opportunities. Plus, they have their own ramp utility multi-chain token that can be traded for on the likes of Binance, FTX, Uniswap and PancakeSwap. The token can be used as collateral to unlock additional liquidity. Plus, you can mint RUSD at zero fees when you use ramp as collateral. Ramp has a total fixed supply and can no longer be minted, meaning that any ramp burned is removed from circulation forever. So let's jump in and take a look now. To get started, you'll want to head across to rampdefi.com, then launch app. And at the top of the screen, you'll see all the different features that are available, which is to mint their DEX, Bridge and DAO. But the first thing that we'll want to do is connect up our wallet. As I said, the platform is multi-chain or multi-network, so we can use the likes of the Binance Smart Chain, Polygon or Ethereum, with plans to add Solana and Polkadot too. And depending on the network that you choose, you can either choose from the likes of Metamask, Binance Chain Wallet or Wallet Connect for the likes of the Trust Wallet. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just connect to the Binance Smart Chain as the fees are cheaper, plus I've already got some BNB in my associated wallet. And obviously don't forget that you'll need to have the network's own token in your wallet to pay for the transaction fees. For example, you'll need BNB for the Binance Smart Chain, Matic for Polygon, or ETH for Ethereum. Once your wallet is connected, you'll see your balance in the top right hand side of the screen. And we'll take a look at the DEX first and how to swap your tokens. This looks very similar to other decentralized exchanges, such as the likes of Uniswap or PancakeSwap. Now, because I'm connected to the Binance Smart Chain, Ramp DeFi will automatically use PancakeSwap for this trade. But if you're connected to the likes of Polygon, it'll use QuickSwap. And from here, you can swap between any two tokens on the same chain that you've selected. Plus, you can also add liquidity to pool and earn rewards. And that's something we're gonna look at in a moment. If you wanna jump to specific parts of the tutorial, I'll have a timeline in the summary below. So let's take a look at swapping first. And I've already got some BNB tokens that I'd like to swap for USDT, as there's a pool that I'd like to enter into, which has some good rewards, which we'll look at in a moment. And when we enter into a pool, we need to have the equal amounts of both tokens. In total, I want to add around $100 into the pool, so I'm going to need around $50 of USDT. And you can change the slippage tolerance by pressing onto the cog here, by clicking on the predefined options, or you can set this yourself. And it will show you the minimum amount that you'll receive, the price impact, and the fee that you'll be paying for your trade. Then if we swap our BNB for USDT, you'll need to confirm that in your wallet, and in here it will show you any gas fees, which works out to be about 80 cents. Just note that if you are using Metamask in conjunction with Ledger, like I am, you'll need to enable Use Ledger Live under your settings and advanced. Then open and unlock the Ledger Live app, plug in your Ledger device, select the Ethereum app, 
and make sure that you have the smart contract data or blind signing on your Ledger device. Once you've done all of that, you can then confirm. Whilst the swap is completed, if we just take a look at my connected wallet now, you'll see that my BNB and USDT are now showing up in my wallet. So next, let's take a look at adding liquidity for these two tokens so that we can start to earn some rewards. So we'll click onto liquidity now. Then we need to select the pair from the dropdown, which is obviously going to be USDT and BNB. When you enter in the amount of USDT, the amount of BNB will then pre-populate because as I said, you do need to have an equal share to enter into the pool. Then similar with any decentralized app, you'll first need to approve the transaction within your wallet and pay a small gas fee before you can go ahead and add your liquidity. And again, you'll need to pay a fee and confirm that within your wallet. And it's also worth mentioning here that you can also add or remove liquidity from LP asset markets on PancakeSwap or QuickSwap directly from the platform without having to leave ramp. When you supply liquidity to a pool, you're then provided with something called liquidity provider or LP tokens. And these essentially represent your deposit into the pool and the tokens can be put to work by depositing them to earn interest. With Ramp DeFi, you can not only deposit these to earn interest, but you can also use them as collateral to borrow RUSD against while still earning yields on your assets. So let's head across to the Mint tab now. And we'll be on the Binance Smart Chain again. Then if we scroll down to find the LP asset markets, here is USDT and BNB where you can currently earn 50.89%. They also have this zap button here as well, which allows you to directly switch from a single asset, i.e. for example, if you just have BNB, to its corresponding LP tokens, without having to go through all the steps and swapping from BNB to USDT and then adding them in equal share. Now, if we just approve this within our wallet first, you'll see there's also an ROI calculator that you can use to help you to calculate your rewards, which you can do depending on the amount that you're going to deposit. You can do it over specific periods of time, etc. And this is pretty handy to have. You can then deposit your LP tokens, pay your gas fees, and then confirm that transaction within your wallet. Now, if you ever find that your transactions are failing, you may need to adjust your gas fees. As standard, these are currently set to around five. However, these can be increased to seven or eight just to push your transaction through. And if you want to withdraw your tokens, you can do this from here at any time too, as your tokens are never locked. And these can also be collateralized to mint RUSD, which you can then use for staking. Or alternatively, you can send the RUSD across to another network like Polygon to buy new tokens using QuickSwap. And you'll first need to approve. Just be aware though here that you can get liquidated if the price of your token does drop in value. Therefore, always ensure that you allow enough margin so that you can sleep at night. And they do have a liquidation calculator here too, so that it will help you to calculate your risk. Plus they have a status column here, which will indicate the liquidation risk on your assets. And it will turn orange when your assets have arrived at 50% plus from liquidation and red at over 25% from liquidation. Then enter in the amount of RUSD that you'd like to mint and click onto the mint button. And again, you'll need to confirm that transaction in your wallet. And from here, you can also vest or claim your rewards. And you don't necessarily need to stake LP tokens to mint RUSD, as you can also deposit single assets too to mint RUSD tokens. And Ramp also have a really handy bridge so that you can bridge or teleport your tokens. So if you have some RAMP or RUSD, as we do currently sitting on the Binance Smart Chain, you can bridge these across to Polygon, for example, or vice versa. Just be aware though, that there are some minimum amounts. Plus you'll be charged a fee, which will depend on the token or the network. And as I mentioned, extracting RUSD liquidity from a user's assets that is then transferable across networks is their unique feature here. Now I'm quickly just going to show you how to unravel everything here. So I'm going to show you how to repay, unstake and remove your liquidity. So if we head back to minting 
As you can see, this is now showing in red, which means that the collateral ratio is low and it states that you should repay your RUSD or deposit more collateral to avoid liquidation. So I'm going to repay the lot now and confirm the amount. Then I'm going to go ahead and withdraw my state LP tokens. Now if I head across to the DEX and the liquidity tab, I can then choose to withdraw. Then I'll withdraw all of my liquidity. Now if you want to check out your recent transactions, these can be found in the history tab of the assets markets. And this will display any records for depositing, minting, asset withdrawals, repaying RUSD, as well as asset liquidation. Then lastly, you can switch from light to dark mode for better readability if required. Now Ramp is constantly evolving and it's currently in the process of scaling up user adoption with a 60 million US dollar liquidity incentive program. With this program, users will get incentives for borrowing RUSD with up to 30 billion Ramp up for grabs on the Binance Smart Chain. If you're interested to find out more about Ramp DeFi, check out their social media accounts or get started on the platform at appv2.rampdefi.com. But that completes how to use Ramp. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.